Well, hello again. Working on that 2012 Escape, Ford Escape. This is a very common, uh, same with the Mazda Tributes. Oh, what, what, what the heck? Wow. This doesn't even make sense to me. So, anyways. Uh, and then your glass is just totally detached. This duct tape's been on there for a while. Through. We've had major storms here in Winnipeg, flooding like crazy. Uh, duct tape's pretty good. Another very simple repair. We got these parts um, just from Amazon. There's the part number. As you can see, it says Mazda Tribute. Beautiful. Steel. You got your um, foam washers. I'm assuming that's going to be for the window. And what you're going to need for this is a, looks like a 10 mil. Go up here, you pop this out. Um, that looks like a bigger bolt than this one. To remove this one, see it's a push pin. I just used a pick, slide it in the side, and it'll pop right out. Uh, you don't have to disconnect this. You don't have to disconnect this, fold it out of the way. You have to take take the wiring out of this. Sorry, my stand doesn't work for this. Take the wiring out of that. And you're gonna need a Torx bit for these. So that is a T30 Torx. Pull that off. So we'll pull that one off. We'll undo these bolts and we'll take a look. These bolts look a little smaller. No, the bolts aren't smaller, just the nuts are a bit smaller. That looks like a 12 mil. So we'll get that off and we'll take a look. So I got the vice grips up there. I'm gonna hold them like this. And I wouldn't suggest using an impact, but these are probably gonna be corroded. So let's see what happens. Beauty, that came off very easily. I'm happy. Let's do this other side. Let's see if I can maybe record live action for you guys. You know I love live action movies, you know, like uh, Blood Sport. Gotta love Van Damme. Alright. I don't suggest this, but do as I say, not as I do. 
I mean, uh, it's pretty tempered and stuff, like, Okay, now you can see on this side, there's a plastic uh, piece that broke off on this one. That's what holds uh, this clamp on. That's just for the wires, so unfortunately, I don't have that. Oh, there's two-sided tape. Maybe I'll just give her a little glue job there, back on the two-sided tape. I am going to reuse the Ford nut because it has a bigger base. These ones just came with a little lock. And that's just, I, yeah, I don't like the way that this little thing would go in that hole. So I'm going to reuse the Ford. Uh, this stud did come off. Looks like it was locked tight. I'm going to put that in the vise and ring that off. So these are numbered, L1, R1. So right side is always when you're looking at to the front of the vehicle, right side is passenger, left side is driver. So left side, we got the blue Loctite. Put a dab, that's all you need. That's probably a bit much. And you do not put the nut on the Loctite. I don't know why I did that. That bracket turns a bit. There are supposed to be these locking rings, but it's not that tight. So I'm going to install both before I tighten it down, install the glass, and then I'll tighten everything down. Comes with these, extra little styrofoam, and that goes on these bolts. That's what's going to help seal this bolt hole. There, now you don't have to figure it out. I did it for you. Now we're going to have to take this tape off, slide this glass up, and line up those holes. So this is going to be a little difficult to do. Um, I'm going to pull these shocks off so it doesn't put pressure on the glass. Because, well, see, as you can see, that's the job of shocks is to naturally want to push out. That's beautiful. This wasn't as hard as I first gathered. Like I said, that uh, that plastic bracket uh, that's on the other side, or, sorry, right here, it broke off. You just still want to keep that piece on because it's also used as like a washer kind of deal. Everything is spaced out accordingly, right?
these are actually 11 mils classic Ford I used a 12 mil before but I mean it works as long as you're not a Neanderthal about it Well, there. Now all that's left is to get rid of this um, duct tape residue. WD-40 works. Um, I don't know about its effects on paint. Um, have to get some sort of adhesive remover. Um, but yeah. That was a fun little project. Hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully this will help you out. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe. And I love you all.